Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be opening up a handful of Lost Origin blisters from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, as you can see the Mew 151 mat is out. Uh, that means we're doing Pokemon as opposed to our normal Yu-Gi-Oh openings. Obviously I love collecting trading cards of all kinds so occasionally I do some other stuff here and there. Uh, but I did the GameStop bundle a few uh, weeks ago and I got a bit of a Pokemon bug. I was at Walmart the other day and I saw that they restocked Lost Origin, which uh, is a little bit of a fun set to open. I think it's uh, not as expensive as other Pokemon sets are. It's a little bit more of the modern stuff. is a little bit more pricey. Lost Origin, not as much. These were running about $3.75 a pack. I think it was $3.74 uh, on the restock. So it was pretty good uh, price-wise. Right before the holiday kind of things were going on sale, um, they had a bunch of them in. Uh, so I bought... Good handful here, I think it was worth it. And getting that Giratina alt art would be really cool. Uh, but there's also some other good alt arts in there, that Aerodactyl and the Rotom. Uh, it's fun, just kind of mix it up, get some Pokemon in here. So I hope you guys are having a good holiday season. Uh, you know, obviously hoping to get, get some good pulls. Hope you're having a good time with friends and family and looking forward to the new year. Obviously, if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan, hope you're gonna enjoy a good year with me as we go forward uh, with the Yu-Gi-Oh sets that are coming out. If you're a Pokemon fan, I hope you'll stick around for the channel and uh, check us out here and there. We will do Pokemon occasionally. Uh, it's just not our predominant thing, um, honestly, just because I don't know as much about it, uh, but I enjoy opening it. So forgive me if I'm not as in the know, uh, but it is fun. I always think it's cool to see some of the artwork and some of the stuff that the Pokemon company uh, puts out um, in their designs. So it's always nice to see. All right, I do not know pack tricks for Pokemon. I do know code cards make a difference uh, somewhat. I've seen enough Poker Rev videos to know that. So I'll flip those over for you guys. It's a green and white code card, so I'm pretty sure that means diddly squat, but you never know. A little Pikachu action. But said, getting that Giratina Trainer Gallery Gengar. And there is a Trainer Gallery in here, so that's cool. I think that's a really good looking card. Gengar is always a big time fan. Look at that, it's called the Trainer Gallery. Is there no guaranteed reverse? Maybe there was. Who knows? Regardless. I'm counting it. We got a Trainer Gallery Gengar, first pack. Black and white code card, maybe black and white code cards are the bad ones. Green and white, green and black, who knows. Like I said, I don't know pack tricks. I barely know the pack tricks for Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've been opening those for a long time. We got the Porygon Z, and then we got Shiftry. Uh, I forget what that's called, but that's a cool little holo card. Not as cool as our Gengar, though. And then, I don't need those. I already knew there wasn't anything left after that. I don't know why I was looking. There you go, code card. Check that over there somewhere. We got some Snover, we got Jinx, we got Inkay, we got Squovit for Lynx, we got Bahali Toad, and just a plain old Clefable to wrap us out here, and nothing else. Couldn't find the seam on that pack. I've, I've been defeated. I 
All right, green and white code card. Have a look. Feel free to use that. I won't duck it. We got Blip Bug, Finion, Zarua, Me and Fu, Manectric as just a normal non holo rare. So green and white code cards or white code cards are just not doing it for us. Ooh, a little difficult pack to open here for me normally. Ah. I don't think I shed that card very well. Sorry about that. And it's in a pile now with other ones, so I would have no idea which one it was. It's a rookie move. We got Radiant Steelix. Okay, that's pretty cool. Put that off into our side to put in. And then we got Rhyperior, who's not cool. Not shiny at all. Obviously, these sets a little bit older. A lot of the values have probably gone down in some of these cards. But we're not going to hate on Radiant Steelix now. He's trying his best. Murkrow, Wormpool, Clefairy doing its thing. Look at Tongue. All right, we got Horsey. We got Lampent. And then we got a Bouffalant with the unique little pattern, Lightning Energy, Lost City, and nothing hiding out back there. All right, we got a few packs left. There's some black and green code cards here. All right, this is what we're talking about. That means we get a guaranteed hollow code card. Sudowoodo, Bronzor, we got Electric, we got Ghastly, we got Binacle, Poliwhirl is the reverse, and just a Vile Plume Hollow. But it was guaranteed. Because it was a black and white code card, nothing else hiding in, just them that. Gotta say, these Pokemon Blister styles that I just walked over to. Glad Yu-Gi-Oh has adopted them because those ones that have the plastic around them you never get those open. All right, black and green, and there's your code. Feel free to enjoy. Let me know if you get anything good with it. Let me know if it's possible to get anything good with it. Shellos, Binnacle, Binnacle, Cascoon, Timber. Wouldn't be a video otherwise. We got Del Fox V card. Look at that. Check that out. That's a hit. And nothing else hiding out in the back here. Said, hey, green and white code card. Green and black. Not pretty bad. We got like five hits. Oh, okay. Maybe not. We counting uh do we count do you guys count in the Pokemon community just playing hollows as hits if they're not guaranteed? Let me know. Inke Basculin Phantom. I thought the shift really looked cool. Horsey. We got Rhyperior as a rare again. Old Rhyperior. He's just out there hanging. Two packs left. We're gonna hit that Giratina. That'd be nice. Even the rainbow one would be pretty cool. Uh, green and white again. Here's your code. Flip it over. We got Clefairy. We got Apom. Spinarak. Litwick, 
We got Rosalia. We got Pseudo Wudo. Spiritum, non hollow, and no trainer gallery. Last pack magic. All right, there we go. Come on, black and green. Oh, yeah. Black and green code card. There's the code. Yeah, it was glared. All right, we'll go over Bronzor. We've got Snover. We got Jinx. We got Inke. Squobet. Oh, we got the Gengar. <laughs> Trainer Gallery again. And the Del Fox V. Oh, yeah. Double hit pack. Let's go. All right. Well, let's take a look at our hits. So, we had Vile Plume, <laughs> which just a hollow, and we've got Shiftry as just a hollow. But, gotta get my sleeves out now so I can sleeve these as we go through. We got a Del Fox V. Put that in a sleeve. We got a Radiant Steelix. Which I thought was cool. He may not be cool, but he's cool to me. That's what matters. Then we've got the Altart Gengo. Gengo. Gengar. Trainer Gallery. <laughs> then from the same pack, last pack magic, we got Del Fox and Gengar. Trainer Gallery again unbelievable so we'll put these two in sleeves i appreciate you guys stopping in visiting me from the pokemon community let me know pokemon card wise what i should open up next i've done 151 i still would love to get one of these cool alt arts i love gengar so i don't have any issue with that this is a cool hit i think it's funny to get the same card the same hits twice uh overall Especially in the same pack at the same time with that trainer gallery. That was kind of funny. But overall, I think that was cool. It was fun to do. And we'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.